Lewis Plus. He could capture his cat and build a cat. He, uh, he hit her badly after she defends his son. Lindsay from, from him, uh, as you can see uh, from the quote. And the identity of he is he can to see in the next location. The master who was seen with a room from his chair, looking at her with hate in his eyes. He was about to strike her. He had his hands in her hair. He had his the freezer, begging the nest to hurt her. He took left, uh, left eye flesh. He seemed ready to tear down to pieces. And his quote. In this story, love and hatred are in the Love causes hatred, hatred causes violence, and violence causes great misery. Even the kind of character expressed violence here. So uh, you can see, uh, although Edgar uh, was a calm man, uh, during his quarrels, the catcher here is his voice and says unspeakable things. Henley and Heathcliff's family relationship seem insignificant. They do horrible things to their own children. Henley often threatens his son and tears him to break his neck, and Heathcliff tortures and hates his son, Linton. He lets the creature die for the trust drop during the ankle into his hand. If they tried to kill Heathcliff with a knife and a gun, but he failed. After all that and these, he could get property of everything he proposed in his, his intention. Heading toward death, he gives up hatred and concentrates, concentrates on his last love for Catherine. Heathcliff's thirst for revenge is only checked when he senses, he senses the imminence of his own death and with it, the final reunion with his ghostly beloved. Young Cathy, Harrison and Linton are not as violent and hateful as their parents. There exists hatred and violence, violence between them, though, but these emotions are not that strong. The elements of violence can be seen in Harrison's behavior when he was a child. Now he takes care of Harrison. After a period of separation, not recognizing her, he truly goes at her and swears at her. When Harrison grows up, he acts rapturously when Cathy thinks of him as a servant and feels offended by Cathy who scorns his gestures of friendship. Both Cathy Linson and Linson make fun of Harrison's ignorance, which leads to her. Quote, Where's the end of the devil in that sentence? Love, with the Linson asks me. But I told you not to use any bad words, and you can't open your mouth without one coming out. Do try to behave like a gentleman. If you look more like a lad than a girl, I'd find you right now, you silly creature, which I don't know. And in the quote, Kathy unconsciously finds her in interior, however, eventually she overcomes his precious and pulls him off of him. Second generation is much more civilized than their parents. They act traditionally and do not ruin their lives with destructive emotions of monstrous hatred and with their love. Once in the she left the self-absorbed manner of the other Kathy and seeking to provoke two men into fighting over her, but Kathy is clever enough to persist. The same emotion between Kathy, Harrison, and Linton is not hatred, but love. Their simple behavior without extreme violence leads Kathy and Harrison to run the future with their misery and suffering. And the violence and harshness of the weather and landscape is an appropriate backdrop to the passion of love and hatred that group the inhabitants of the two houses. Uh, the confession of climate presents the confession and well tempered to the characters uh, that actually of Catherine and he's the main character. Whether in height, unlike Trashville's range, is a large dark place as he was hateful so is. And now let me talk about the symbolism of the word weathering in weathering height. Weathering height is the name of the keep of dwelling. Weathering is a significant provincial adjective restricted with the atmospheric signal to which its station is exclusive from stormy weather. Pure greater ventilation we must have out there at all times, indeed, one may guess the power of the north wind blowing over the edge. By the excessive plant of the few stunted birds at the end of the house, and by a grain to the salt, gone storm, before touching their limbs on the way, and craning, craning all the sun. Happy, uh, happily, architects had foresight to build them strong, and as the narrow windows are deeply set in the wall and the corners defended with large jutting stones. An evident weathering is not only related to the weather, but also in a metaphorical way to the features of the main characters whose emotions have the power of the north wind, and the winds always blow in their soul. Now, let us conclude. The cause of this hatred and violence where Heathcliff seems to be the mastermind of evil are. When the streets of Heathcliff in childhood, catches the trail and he needs well tempered. 
Jesus of cruelty arises from his great misery. He is being transform transformed from the object of violence to the originator of hatred and violence. Despite all the uh, bad things that happen in the novel, the end can be seen as a happy end. As a matter of fact, hatred doesn't completely, completely win after all. Cassie and Jerry can stay together as well as Catherine and Jesus in their afterlife. Thank you.